Yo, what is going on everybody, it's Ace Turning Ninja here today, oh my dudes, with another brand new episode of our Pokemon Shield Let's Play. Hopefully you guys are excited for today's episode. If you are, don't forget to do me a favor and hit that like for me down below. As always, does help out a whole heck of a lot. Subscribe if you guys are indeed new around here. Share this video with your friends, and don't forget to hit that bell for notifications because it does help out the channel a lot more than you think it does. I talked about it in the beginning of the last episode, so if you guys forgot or if you missed it go back and check that out i'll link it right here in an icard, card as well as link in the description to the playlist of this series now let's get started with a quick team recap first off we have nicket our level 13 dark type with an orin berry runaway ability rock of the moves beat up quick attack snarl and hone claws with a positive special attack nature by the way this thing's going to be a beast this thing is already battle ready if it wasn't for the fact this is a let's, this is a playthrough Pokemon, and it's going to have all kinds of weird EVs, this thing would be perfect for Wi-Fi battling, which is great. Anyway, next up we have Choodle, the water type level 12, with the strong jaw ability, rock and moves, bite, water gun, and tackle. Next up we have Dotler, the level 13 bug and psychic type, with the swarm ability, rock and the moves, struggle bug, confusion, light screen, and reflect. Next up, we have Squobit, level 12, Orin Berry, Wielding, Cheek Pouch, Have an Ability, Tackle, Bite, Tail Whip, and Stuffed Cheeks, Have an Squirrel Pokemon. Squobit. Next up, we have Rookity, level 14, with a Flying type, Unnerve Ability, Rock in the Moves, Peck, Power Trip, Fury Attack, and Hone Claws. And last but not least, we have Grookey, the level 14, Grass type, with Orin Berry. Overgrow ability, rock in the moves, branch poke, scratch, le razor leaf, and taunt. And that's the team. McMoving, McForward. Now, in the last episode, one of you guys remember, we're here in the Wildlands, where we can freely move our camera around, which is kind of awesome. I ran back in between episodes to try and, uh. Those are Panchams. I ran back in between episodes. To try and um, check and, and, and uh, or try to heal my Pokemon real quick, right? And I found something interesting. Uh, I found out something interesting while I was running back. I'm going to share with you guys hopefully here in a second after we catch this Pencham. But I think we are going to want not on the team, but we're going to want it for you know filling out the Pokedex and such. Hi, right, Pancham. Do me a fun flavor. Oh, it's an arm thrust that's gonna hurt a lot. Yikes, dog. If it wasn't for the fact that I was such a high level comparatively to this thing, uh, that would have that would have been that'd have been frightening. Thank you, Pancham. I don't think we've had a Pokemon escape from a ball yet. Now that I'm thinking about it. Cool! New Pokedex entry. Love to see it. But a lot of Pancham in this grass, which makes me wonder if... Whoa! Ah! Makes me wonder if like the time of day has something to do with what Pokemon spawn here. No, just the grass, because these are Bunnelbees. Okay, but I did realize that over here different Pokemon spawn. Did I get it? No. It is the Rog and Rolla. Yes, I realized that uh, in the areas between grass, different Pokemon spawn, which I did not know, which is good to know, in case you didn't know. I, I didn't realize when I ran through the first time. I only re realized running back, which is kind of weird, kind of sad. Stealth Rock. Ooh, woo. I like a good Stealth Rock user. You think it might finally be uh, the generation where Rock and Roller and his evolutions actually get use? This could be it. Because we don't have any. We don't have a whole heck of a lot of premier Stealth Rock users, I don't think. I'm really interested to see what the, uh, the metagame kind of becomes. In this generation with with not having full access to all Pokemon in history I'm very interested so it looks like we have a regular Diglett here it's not a Galorian Diglett or 
Alolan Diglett. Just a normal Cantonian Diglett, which I can get behind. That Snarl's doing a lot of damage. It's almost making me nervous of Elko's. Get a ball, Diglett. You know you wanna. You know you wanna. It's a comfy little ball, you'll be safe. No more wild Pokemon. No more random fighting. It'll be great. Actually, you'll still be doing random fighting, but not you'll be you'll be able to sleep safely, right? That's the that's the real that's the real lure, right? That's the real the real lure to the Pokeballs is, is safe sleeping. All right, so yeah, this is a different Pokemon that spawn here. I've only seen Rock and Roll and Diglets there, so I'm just gonna assume that's all they have. I see Panchams. I see a lot of those fighting type boys. What are you? That's a Routes! That's a Routes! Heck yeah, dude! Is it a male? He traced my runaway ability. It is a male! It is... I'm a little nervous to go for a Snarl. I'm gonna just start quick attacking because I don't think it can even hit me. If it does have a move, it's Confusion, which I'm immune to. Wait, can you still put me to sleep? Just quit. Just keep on quick attacking. Just keep on quick attacking. Wigging this thing down slowly. All right. It is a male, which means we could eventually have this thing become a uh, nice and nice and uh da da. It's not Gardevoir. It's the other one, Gallade. It was just not coming to my brain for a second. I wonder when Nick it evolves. Do I have to wait till like 32 or something? It's an early game Pokemon. I would imagine it evolves early. Well, that's nice. So now we know we get uh, we can get Ralts over here. I'm not just gonna keep saying I'm gonna keep shaking this tree until it stops producing berries. Cause I feel like I feel like if you keep on shaking it, it'll drop a Pokemon. That's what I was looking for, dude. Squove it. I wish I had known that and kept checking the other one. Alright, we'll go for the Snarl. Nice and Snarl. Nice and big damage. Nice and Snarl. Goes for the tackle. That's gonna hurt. Not as much as I thought it would, but it did. It did do damage. You know, now that Nickit's got Snarl, it's doing it's doing the work. Beat up was just not quite it, but now that it has Snarl, now that it has Snarl, we're here and we're we're Nickit solo running, dude. All right, let's see here. Moving along, moving along. Any any new Pokemon in these grasses? It's an Oddish, some Bunnelbees, some Hoot Hoot. Give me that hoot hoot! How you doing, hoot hoot? I'm gonna go for the snarl. You're level 15. We're moving on up over here, dude. Level 15 hoot hoots we have to fight now. Wait, why did that not do anything? Oh, for no reason. It just missed. No, 15, by the way. What the heck? They should give us good experience while, when catching this thing, though. Psycho Shift? Are you trying to give me all these stat drops? No, thank you, good sir. We're running low on Pokeballs. We've caught a lot of Pokemon. Whoa! Not even a wiggle. Calm down there, Hoot Hoot. Okay, I don't know if I can even go for another Snarl, to be honest. It might be too much. It's not. It is not too much. Can confirm, it is not too much. 
Huh? Hey, you love to see it. You love to see it. I'll see how much XP this gives us. It's a fair chunk. Level 15, Grookey might be evolving. He might be evolving, this might be it! This might be it, guys! It might be 16, but it might be 15. Looks like it's 16. Alright, Hoot Hoot. Alright, exclamation point, something new. There's more Lotads. We've already captured Lotads. We don't need Lotads. It's level 14, Lotad, though. I need to heal. But I really don't want to travel all the way back. It's kind of a long walk now. Maybe we'll just put someone else out front for a little while. That might just be the way. Water gun? You're not doing a lot of damage there, are you, Lotad? You're trying, but you're not you're just not quite uh, not quite up to snuff. Mega Drain. I'll do a little more damage. Also, you're healing yourself, which is kind of annoying. Can I just start la can I need to land both of these snarls to even knock this thing out. Mist? I'm shrouded in a mist, huh? Okay, well, goodbye, Lotad. You tried, but it just wasn't quite it. Level up on two different Pokemon. Will they evolve? I'm gonna guess 13 is not the evolution level. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Squo, I'll put Squo, Squo, it. I'll put Squo, it out for a little while. See what happens. More exclamation points. And it's just bumblebees. Huh. Alright, tackle then. Tackle it is. Mudshot! Whoa now. Dropping my accuracy. I'll drop my speed. I'm thinking of mud slap. I think. That's all this really is, is a muddy bunny, isn't it? It's a muddy bunny. Laser focus. Concentrated intensely. Is that like lock on? Is that what that does? Is it basically lock on? Another another variation of lock on. Ooh, an item. Tiny mushroom. Well, we got a lot of oddish. Multiple hoot hoots. Whoa! Howdy there, vile bloom. I don't think I can take this thing on. I don't think I can take this thing on. Dotler might be my best chance. Well, Rookadee could could be my best chance. Huh. Hello? Ooh, a lombre! A lombre! It is level 14. We could catch it, potentially. Whoa! Calm down there, Chief. Slow your roll. It's not that serious. Cheek pouch basically allows me to have double heals, doesn't it? If I if I te if I keep this cheek pouch ability when I evolve, I feel like I'm gonna be very useful for a thick boy. I, I better don't get any healing moves, but if I give myself like a citrus berry. 
It'll heal me, and then Cheek Pouch allows me to heal more from that. And then even if I wanted, I could keep this this move, uh, Stuff Cheeks, right? Which allows me to consume my berry without having to wait to get to low HP. So it's almost like a healing move in itself. I, I wanted to capture that Lombre. I was talking too much. I forgot what I was doing. I wanted to capture that Lombre. That's lame. I did that to myself, though. We'll use some potions. We'll use some potions real quick. This is fine. I still want to capture Lombres. Should I just keep running around and see if I see another one pop up? I feel like that's probably the way. Because we know we know they we know they're available. I bet they're a fairly rare spawn. We'll just see what happens. Look at that look at that tree fading into existence. Oh! Come here, you! I accidentally uh just your friend. I didn't mean to. This is okay, we got another chance. Tackle. Tackle. Tackles. All the tackles. Hit him with a tackle! We just gotta get the- uh, We gotta hit it what? Two more times maybe? Jeez, as long as I keep spamming mist, this is fine. I'm fine with you trying to mist the train that can't- that can't be misted. It's already mystified, dude. Ah. Didn't even pretend to wiggle. It didn't even pretend to wiggle. Yo, that just healed way more than I would like to see. Alright, it's down in the red. Come on now, Lombre. You know you wanna. You know you want to. Just stay in the ball. Thank you! Thank you! Very much appreciate it! And Squobit's leveling up. I feel like Squobit should evolve soon. I'm thinking Squobit evolves around 20. That's my guess. Oh, there's a guy over here. Alright, we got more bundle bees. Alright, looks like uh, spawns are s changing a little bit, but not really. Let's see here. What do we have? What is this? Oh, tiny mushrooms. Right. We can teach somebody swift, but I don't really wanna. I'm gonna just start- I'm gonna start racking these trees until Pokemon falls out, because I'm just interested to see I bet there's Pokemon that are only available in the trees, like there were in Gen 4 with Apom. Yes! Cherubi! I feel like I should be able to eat the Cherubi. Honestly. So wait, here's the big question, because I wasn't paying attention beforehand. If I shake the trees until a Pokemon falls out, do I still collect the berries? Or do I have to stop shaking it before a Pokemon falls out to be able to collect the berries? It would make sense if you had to stop shaking it in order to collect the berries before a Pokemon falls out. Because it kind of gives you an incentive to not force the Pokemon out of the tree, you have to kind of make the choice. But I hope that's not the case, because I, I kind of want to just shake the trees, get all the berries, and potentially find rare Pokemon. Will a Pokeball be enough for a level 14 Cherubi? Yes, yes it is. 
Can confirm, you heard it here first, Truby can be captured by a Pokeball. We're getting, we're just getting all, I'm, I'm gonna finish the game with a full Pokedex. Other Pokemon nearby took all the orange berries away. He picked up the berries that fell from the tree. One Prism, three Pecha, two Chesto. Not bad. He took all the orange berries away, but that's fine. What is this? A Balm Mushroom. A rare mushroom that gives off a nice fragrance. It can be sold at high price to shops. So it's money. Alright, I'm gonna shake it down. I don't know. This this tree this tree's getting a shakedown, dude. This tree's getting a shakedown. There's five berries on the ground. There's more. There's eight berries on the ground. Eleven berries on the ground. Shake it more. Thirteen berries on the ground. This is better to produce a rare Pokemon. Fifteen berries on the ground. And it just squove it. Gosh darn it. It just squove it. And it's only one level higher than mine. It's not even that impressive. Oh, it's a thick boy though. Swallow. Oh, it gets. Oh, okay, so in one more level, I'm getting the stockpile set, apparently. You know that a stockpile is a move set you can get from tree squowitz, which is not particularly interesting. Got something. It's got my nails. Got like a I got a hangnail of sorts. Sorry, don't mind me. I know that's gross. Some of you probably didn't even see it. Some of you probably has probably re probably rewounded, rewounded it, rewounded it, rewounded it to see what I was doing. Some of you guys probably didn't even notice. All right, Grookey's level 16. I'm expecting an evolution. We got Protect on Choodle, which is nice. Yes, yes, yes. I haven't seen the evolution yet, and I'm very interested to see what it is. Grookey, you're adorable, but I, I didn't love you. But let's see what you got. Wacky. Yeah, it wasn't worth it. Thwacky's kind of weird looking. Not a fan of Thwacky. Not a fan of Thwacky. Let's learn double hit though, which I will not say no to. Forget scratch. Go for the double hit. Yeah, I'm a little let down. I'm not, I'm a little, not gonna lie, I'm a little let down. Grookey was adorable. Six Ross, five Chestos, one Pecha. Not a bad haul. Not a bad haul at all. These are Pokemon dens. You gain 50W. What? Oh, I, was I supposed to be talking to these things the whole time? Hello, beware. How are you? I didn't... I'm sorry, beware. I didn't know that you were coming by. I think I'm supposed to have been uh, getting this... These W's. Lombres, Hoot Hoots. I want some Stuffles. But apparently there are bewares nearby. And a Ludicolo! I'm gonna I'm gonna challenge because I'm interested to see what level he is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna nick it out front. It's a guaranteed runaway without taking a bunch of damage. Ludicolo, I love you. Will you be my Pokemon? A very strong looking Ludicolo. Level 34. 
Yeah, that ain't that ain't it, Chief. We ain't ready for that. Sh we ain't ready for that just yet. We ain't ready for that just yet, and that's fine. And now, because I'm curious, I kind of want to check out the loot colo. I mean, the beware rather. What level are you? Very strong looking beware. I'm, I'm guessing 30s. 34, yep. Goodbye. It would be nothing but luck if I managed to take that thing out, so. I mean, it'd be a lot of levels. But it, most likely, I would lose all my Pokemon and then have to respawn and run all the way back through here. I just, I just don't think that's quite a chief. White herb. Okay, so it started raining when I crossed over here. Oh! Alright. A lot of new Pokemon to catch. We got Gastly's. We got uh, Dusk, Dusk Noirs eventually. That's not... Okay. Level 30. Almost. Holy cow, that did a lot of damage. I'm frightened. Please don't attack me. I should have just run away. Alright, next Pokemon, Squobit. You're immune to its ghost type attacks. You should be out and you should be able to bite it for solid damage. Spite. Holy will be able to capture a level 30 ghastly real quick. That'd be pretty cool. This ghastly is playing PP games, and I'm not a fan of it. No, don't do it! I'm gonna take it out now! Ghastly, you suck! Now my bite knocks it out. I didn't want to knock you out. I wanted to capture you. You're gonna make me do this all over again with another Ghastly. Sorry, stockpile. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm good. I don't need that. I don't like the stockpile setup. It's that's three whole that's three whole move slots dedicated to one strategy. I'm not a fan. Playing pluck though, which I am down with. Forget fury attack. It's not even stab. Never clicking it. But that is really lame that he just suicided. Now I gotta start it over. A different Pokemon. Come here, you. Come here, Ghastly. Show me what you got. It's a very strong looking Ghastly, you say. 27. It still can't touch me, so I'm still comfortable here with my normal type using Bite. And this is a good way to get levels. And these ghost types literally can't touch me. Okay, please do not, do not use curse. I will be sad boy if you curse. What did that say? You cannot throw a Pokeball that won't let its guard down. So I'm not a high enough level to capture it. That's lame. And it has payback. Well, I guess these things are just good for levels, then. And that they are. They are definitely good for levels. Is this, uh, this going to be too strong? Very strong looking dust call. Uh, why do you have... Why do you allow me to access them if they're too strong for me to actually do anything about? That was a critical hit. 
That was it. That was that was all I had. That was that was the move. That was the critical hit. That's all I had. Why did I not give Squovit back an Orenberry? There's no reason for me not to have Squovit holding an Orenberry. Or a berry of some kind. I'm risking it. I'm just gonna keep going for bites. No, I'm not, because I don't have any I don't have any healing items. We're, po we're potioning. See, that's why. Oh, that was still too much for me to handle. Lit. This this thing's so weak, I just wanna take it out at this point. We have bite. We have bite on Choodle and it's boosted by Strong Jaw. Let's get it. And Choodle outspeeds, which I don't understand, but it's happening, so I'm just gonna let that happen. Why does that. Why does Choodle's bite do less damage than. What? I'm sorry, who? Alright, Choodle, come on, don't do it. Thank you. Don't hit yourself in confusion. Don't be that guy. You're better than that, Choodle. Choodle leveled. Choodle leveled up to 15. I feel like Choodle didn't evolve till late. I don't know why I'm thinking that, but that's that's what I'm thinking. Alright, we got Wingulls, Duskulls, a bunch of Pokemon I can't capture, apparently. Haunters, definitely not going to be able to capture them. Uh, definitely not haunted hole in the ground. What is that? Oh, it's a purloin. Oh, and a Dusclops. And some Krabbies, some Whoopers. Krabbies and Whoopers. I'm going to test it. I'm going to test the water. Can I capture these Pokemon? Is it wild whooper? It doesn't it didn't say it seems strong. Oh, it's level nine. It's not strong. I'm a struggle bug it. Cause I do I just wanna I just wanna capture as many Pokemon as I can. I don't wanna have to come back. You know? I want to capture all the Pokemon I can going through the journey. I don't want to have to keep keep coming back to the same areas over and over, trying to capture different Pokemon. You know. Nope. No nicknames for the Whoopers. All right. So can I capture the Krabby? Yes, it's just a normal wild Krabby. Apparently it was just the ghost types that were just stupid strong for no reason. I feel like Dotler looks like an electric type. I don't see the psychic typing anywhere here. A bug electric type, that's what I see when I when I look at Dotler. But we're filling out the Pokedex, which I'm definitely a fan of. All right, Wingle, can you be captured? Is a wild Wingle? That doesn't look particularly strong. Just a normal wild Wingle. It's trying to confuse me already. Jeez. Don't supersonic me. Come on. Hi, right, Dodler. Come on, you're better than this. Don't play his games. You're better than this. Just just break through. Just break through. Just hit him with your confusion and it's fine. 
We can move along, I capture a Pokeball, I can hit him with the confusion, and we're good. Moving along. Thank you. We have three Pokeballs left and a Great Ball, and gosh darn it, we're not using that Great Ball until we die for the half, too. What's that? Critical capture. So confirmed, critical captures are in the game still. Good to know. The Mikey grew, grew to level 17. He hasn't even seen the battlefield since he was level 8. Which is kind of sad, but I'm trying to get all my Pokemon some screen time. You know, throughout the episodes. Alright, we got a lot of Woobers. A lot of Krabbies. Some Wingles. Give me that 50W. I'm not sure what it's used for yet, but we're going to take it anyway. What are you? Oh, a temple. Cool. I actually, I actually had at one point thought about having uh, Seismitoad as my mascot. So I actually, I actually quite like Seismitoad. And I'm down for the temple. Even though we're not using it. I'll capture it. Now the Wildland seems to have mostly repeat Pokemon. I haven't seen I don't think I've seen anything new. Not new new to this generation we have, but not new to us so far in this game. I wonder when Rukudi evolves. This is hit 17. It should have it should have a mid-stage evolution, like level 20-ish, I would think. Oh, there's a lady by the water. What is that? Oh, it's Shuffle. How to Shuffle? <laughs> Same though. Shuffle, are you a fighting type yet? Or are you a normal type? I'm guessing you're. I'm guessing you're a normal type. Brutal Swing. Right. Forgot that I existed. Okay, it is a fighting type. Can confirm. Is that low enough for a Pokeball? Probably not. Well? Alright. I'm not gonna complain. Dotler leveled up too. Alright, well that was our last Pokeball. Last Pokemon caught. For now. We'll have to come back when we get more, uh... Ooh, Mudbraze. Dude, there's so many Pokemon to be captured. It's craziness. We're gonna have to come back. We'll have to go buy Pokeballs and come back. So many Growlis, Stuffles, Mudbraze. And... Uh, with a special sort of energy... Measured in watts. You can gather watts yourself from glowing Pokemon dens and glowing Pokemon in the wild. You'll also find trainers in the wild area who are willing to give you all sorts of items if you'll just give them some of your watts. Okay. I will remember that. A pungent root. Huh. Wait, can I? Can I, I don't have a bicycle yet. But I can fish. Let's see if they give us uh, any cool new fish Pokemon. Or is it still Magikarps? I bet it's a Magikarp. It is a Magikarp! Can confirm, it is Magikarps. It's a magical carp. A fish. The fish boy. Hit him with that confusion. I'll get this XP. I'm not mad about it. Not a lot, but you know, every little bit helps. Okay, I was like, that was a little bit easy, I'm not gonna lie. Dude, there's so much to explore. Look, there's still all this down here we haven't touched. Way back in there. We haven't, we haven't gotten anything, we haven't done anything over this way. And we still have a lot of Pokemon to capture back that way. 
Oh, that plate. What is that? Why is that? Why is it glowing like that? Like that specifically. Oh, you get 300 watts and a and a raid battle with a hoot hoot, which I'm not interested in. Not gonna lie. Not interested. Not interested yet. Oh, it's a shelter. Oh, and it, and it even actually swims backwards. They oh, they paid attention. Well, there's still so much to do in this wild area. It's kind of wild. Guess it's why they call it a wild area. We gotta get we gotta get more pokeballs, which means I'm gonna have to either travel back and get pokeballs, or just bite the bullet and continue forward, go buy pokeballs and come back. I think that's probably what I'm gonna do. But either way, we're gonna do it in the next episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to do me a favor and hit that like for me down below. As always, this help out a whole heck of a lot. Subscribe if you guys aren't new around here and share this video with your friends. But with that, I'm gonna get out of here. Hopefully you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.